I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler discovered a new way of life. Today, we're going to talk about personal leadership. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. The new way of life is knowing who you are moment by moment. Today, we're going to apply this to personal leadership. What's personal leadership mean to you? This means being in charge of your life by living a healthy, positive life for your family, friends, and the community. How do you do this? Take charge of your life by being your true self moment by moment. Be engaged in life. Have a high level of happiness. Have meaning in your life. Enjoy positive experiences, accomplishments, and extraordinary people. That sounds good. Anything else? Personal leadership means know who you are moment by moment. Know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. There are four locations you can think from, and you can only think from one at a time. There's the head, the heart, the gut, and the mind, which is outside the body. What does this mean? This means having integrity with no lying at any time, especially to yourself. This means thinking from the heart with kindness and giving and thinking from the mind with creativity. What does personal leadership mean at home or socially? This means that if an important decision is needed, make it instantly, either a yes or a no. Don't wait for more information or wait to see what happens because some very bad things can happen while waiting or delaying an important decision. Stay with the decision unless new facts develop. If it's wrong, you can fix it fast before irreversible harm. Next, be responsible for all your actions and consequences. If you make a mistake, acknowledge it, obtain the benefit, and move on. There is no need for blame, criticism, or excuses. What else is needed for personal leadership at home? You need to make a firm commitment to your family and friends. Say yes or say no and do what you say. You're going to meet at 5 o'clock? Show up at 5, not at 5.30 or 6. Your family and friends will appreciate your commitment and enjoy seeing you. Learn the discipline to say no if you don't want to do something or not able to accomplish the request, even if it makes you feel bad about turning down a friend or family. What does positive communication mean? You need to learn and practice positive communication at home and in public. This means talking in a positive way with no put-downs or one-ups and no destructive comment. Both individuals feel better after the interaction. You do this through thinking from the heart with kindness and giving. You feel good. Others feel good, too. It sounds like personal leadership at home includes making firm decisions and taking personal responsibility with no blame or excuses and positive social communication. It sounds like personal leadership at home includes making firm decisions, taking personal responsibility with no blame or excuses and positive social communication. How does personal leadership apply at work? You need to have people-centered leadership at all levels, including executives, managers, team leaders, and employees. Making instant decisions is more important than ever. If a decision is needed, make it immediately. Waiting for more information or letting events play themselves out doesn't help people move to the next step and creates time for bad events to occur. What else? It means taking total responsibility, not only for yourself, but up and down the entire management chain. This means no blame. If a coworker or someone on your team makes a mistake, don't blame them. 
It's your responsibility because you didn't give them clear directions, provide them with needed skills, or give them enough resources. If you get chewed out from the boss, take responsibility. You didn't give the boss enough information or you didn't understand what was needed. What about commitment? Unwavering commitment is essential at work. If you say yes, do it at all costs. A poorly committed person is disruptive and has a terrible reputation. They can't be relied on when things go badly. What about positive communication at work? It's extremely important because negative, destructive communication destroys productivity and creativity. This creates a negative, unhealthy environment. Negative communication is from thinking from the anger center and that self-thinking stress center. Think from the heart with kindness and giving. Positive work communication produces results, innovation, and a healthy work environment. What good health habits are required for successful personal leadership? Healthy nutrition lifestyle with eating the right foods in the right amount at the right time prepared in a healthy manner. Eight hours of sleep every night with six of those hours to recharge brain energy and two of them for dream sleep for kindness. One hour of exercise every day always learning something new, being grateful, and having compassion for yourself and others. Everyone needs to maximize their personal leadership for success at home and at work. Do you have any closing comments? Personal leadership means taking charge of your life by living a healthy, positive life for your family, friends, and the community. Take charge of your life by being your true self moment by moment. Think from the heart with kindness and giving. Think from the mind with creativity. Have integrity with no lying at any time, especially to yourself. Make instant decisions. Have total responsibility for your actions and firm commitments to your family and friends. Be exceptional by being your true self. Thrive on your uniqueness. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing today's segment. Next time, we'll talk about business leadership. Best wishes for a great day.